guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test server and we have our brand new patch notes up. That is right, patch 1.103 is up on the test server and it is bringing us a brand new Mauler Hero, S Salaki, Salaki, um, the Curse Bearer. So fingers crossed guys, this is not just going to be another mage, but this could actually be a support hero that we've been looking for forever since Nemesu was one of the originals that came with AFK Arena. He is still tr the only true technical support. Um, I know we did get a Lero, but overall he is not super effective within any game mode. I mean, he's kind of a filler for the Mauler Tower. So we're hoping that this is going to be another support hero. Now, with that being said, Nevi just coming to the Wilders, I'm thinking he's probably going to be the mage. I don't know if they would do the double support um, role release, but we'll have to see exactly. But very cool to see a new Mauler hero that is coming to AFK Arena. The new test season of the hunting field will begin on 1121. Hunting field, of course, is a five player mode based on um, the factions. So very cool. The Celestials, the Hypogens, and the Dimensionals are together. It's a pretty cool game mode. They really give good um, good rewards out of there. And they've made it a lot easier as this went through. A lot of players like the ability or what they've added to the hunting fields versus how they're kind of doing the Abyssal Expedition because of the sheer time that it takes. Where players will battle Adrex, which I believe that is the boss that we fought before. That, that might be one that we've already seen. To so optimize the algorithms that recommend spectating other teams, ventures can now deploy their beasts in battles. That has always added and added a join function to the team's interface. Now with the addition of the beast, guys, we have a new beast, Bell, Bell Bello. Ventures can enter the beast ground to lure and capture them. So not exactly sure what that beast is going to do. When the patch comes up tomorrow, we can definitely check it out. Added the adventure, the painter's spell to the Voyage of Wonder feature. So brand new Voyage of Wonder. One of my absolute favorite parts of AFK Arena is the voyages, guys. It's pretty cool with the puzzles in there. Reduced difficulty of certain floors between 1550 and 1600. I am at 1000 right now on my account, so this doesn't really have an impact on a lot of different players unless you're really pushing massive, massive progression within those tower levels. Now players can climb up to 960 floors within the faction towers, which is crazy and a little bit of a reduction from 900 to 930. Reduced difficulty um, of certain floors between 600 and 620 of the Celestial Sanctum and Infernal Fortress. And then of course, a new Misty Valley will immense. Now the Misty Valley guys, of course, an incredible plethora of loot out of there. Um, Finish it and clear it every single chest, every single time, guys. It is about the consistency within this game to do the events and what come up to get Stargazer cards, to get um, Elite Stones, to get heroes out of their red chest, to get cores. Everything, guys, is kind of the accumulation of what you do in this game. So hero adjustments and changes. Blade Ridge fixed an issue in certain circumstances where the Raid Chariot could not display correctly. And then Yennefer fixed an issue where the knockback effect of Magic Barrier was triggered incorrectly. So overall, guys, not too much with the patch notes. Um, again, Misty Valley is going to be coming. We have a new voyage. We have a new pet. And then, of course, the hunting fields as well as our brand new Mauler Hero. All right, guys, so that'll do it um, for this video. But I do want to hop over and look because there is a sneak peek um, in Dolly's Corner that I do want to look at and cover. That way we can check out exactly what he's going to look like or just the shadow of what he's going to look like. So let's take a look at it. All right, guys, so here it is, Dolly's Corner, volume number 40. That is right, guys, already 40 Dolly's Corners um, editions. You can see right here is kind of the sneak peek. We have Treznar in here. It looks like we have a couple heroes right on this side, um, including Brutus and Thane. It looks like Damon is in there as well. And then we do have a, a baby version of um, Treznar right there in the bottom. And looking, they brought this back. I like this. It's a pretty cool aspect, guys. Dolly's Double Whopper. So this is Dolly's Burger from the Light Bear Empire. You can go through, you can check it out. It comes from a droopy-eared sheep, a fairy butterflies, the tulip sauce, red belly pheasants, and angelic algae, Hel Hel Hellenetic algae. But overall, guys, what we want to see, there it is, guys. So this is a picture of the new Mauler Hero. Again, could be mage, could be support. Um, you can see there is a pretty big staff or a spear in here you got some um it does look like again it looks like it's going to be a mage or it's going to be support um, i'm assuming the face is right over here this is probably an elbow on this side and this could be a beak or this could be some sort of mask 
that the hero wears. And then of course got the pointy, almost hooded figure that we see right here. Again, guys, fingers crossed, say with me that we want to see the support. Um, we, we really, really need Mauler support within this game, which I think would be super, super effective. It's hard to please every discerning plate. What are your favorite dishes? Um, you can see guys, again, we have Brutus, we have Damon, um, we have Raku over here, which is crazy that it looks that big or that strong. Um, and then of course, Thane that are eating. What are the favorite dishes? With Thanksgiving right around the corner, guys, it is perfect timing to let me know in the comments what your favorite dishes are, guys. Me personally, I, I have a couple. I love pumpkin pie, and this is usually the only time of the year that you do get pumpkin pie. And we do not do turkey, we do ham. Um, absolutely love doing ham. Looking in here, it does break down. We went back to this to Tresnar. You can see there's a ton of information. Um, he is a very, very cool, unique hero that we've seen. Um, if you built him out, guys, he works super effective. Similar to Kayleen, Tresnar, Fane. Built out, they do work incredibly well, but they require a very, very high commitment um, and investment to really work well. Then, of course, we have our little um, story right here. So character relationships, Thorin and Fane, we've seen them before. Thorin is the king. Fane is the enemy. I once pledged my allegiance to him, which, of course, this is the living version of Thorin. But then he strayed from the righteous path, put him in lock, unlock, look, looks in chain, but here he almost looks dead already. Um, from now on, I will only trust, I'll only be loyal to what is right. And then you can see him kind of, um, the anime, or it almost looks like a younger version of him. But very, very cool. I love how AFK Arena does these dolly corners. Because um, they have a lot of information, and it's cool to see how they do these little animes or these little comic strip parts, which is very cool. So, all right, guys, so that'll do it for Dolly's Corner. Again, let me know in the comments what is your favorite Thanksgiving dishes. And as always... Thank you guys for watching.